Hello and welcome to Sports This Morning. I'm Cecilia Omogwe. I am Tayo Salam. Many thanks for joining us again. All and right. happy holidays to all of you that yeah. at home. In advance. It's going to be like three, three <laughs> days, right? Three public holidays. I'm kind of jealous. Well, let's start off the show with this one. Pelican Stars and Abia Angels escaped relegation. They are staying mm. up in the Nigeria Women's Football League Premiership for next season. And for Dreamstar Ladies... And of course, Ibom Angels, they will be playing in the championship mm. next season. Yeah, that's quite unfortunate. But yeah. congratulations to Pelican Stars and Abia Angels will be playing at the top flight of the Women's League next season. Also on the show this time around, we're going to Manchester, the city of champions, mm -hmm. where the citizens <laughs> have been crowned champions of the 2020-2021 season after Leicester defeated Manchester United by two goals to one at Old Trafford last night. Yeah, just when he says the city of champions, Manchester, you know it's the blue side, the blue side. of <laughs> Manchester, not the red side. <laughs> and to the program, yes, a playoff spot sealed for Miami Heat. Jimmy Butler, of course, was one of the teams, one of the players who ensured that they did that. Tyler Hero also coming off the bench to mm -hmm. score 24 points, 11 rebounds, and playoff spot is sealed. That's wow. the top six berth. It's not top eight, but top mm -hmm. six. So whoever finished seventh, eighth, will play, be playing in the play-in tournament. Fantastic. Uh, for Miami, uh, started the season on a very, very, yeah. very poor note. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, at some point, they were in danger poor. of not uh, even making the postseason. So for them to recover uh, this nicely mm -hmm. and make the playoffs uh, with a few games still to go, uh, I think is a testament uh, to their character. And uh, uh, it tells us uh, last time out in the bubble where they, get, they go all the way to the final, mm -hmm. uh, uh, was no fluke, At so all. we're very delighted uh, for the Miami Heat uh, because of the Nigerian um, players. Yeah, they players are players. How well many too. do we have right now? Yeah, Let's start kind of count. <laughs> Bama De Bayo, <laughs> Victor Ladipo. Victor, um, was there again? Um, I think I'm like Gabe four, Vincent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, now we can go on and on. So yeah, we can. Andre Godala, yeah, you can add him to the mix. <laughs> all right, so uh, we'll come back to that uh, shortly. Uh, um, but before then, uh, let's just take you through all the other results of the games that are played in the NBA 12. Uh, the season is gradually, uh, you know, wrapping up. Uh, mm -hmm. Three, two games to go. Mm -hmm. depending for most of the teams. For most of the teams, exactly. So uh, there you go. Starting off with the Nuggets and the Hornets. They ended 117 to 112 in favor of Denver. Mike Porter Jr. and Nikola Jokic scoring 30 points yeah. apiece in that game to snap. A two game slide. Also winning on the Knights was the Timberwolves. Minnesota 119 to 100 over the Detroit Pistons. Carl Anthony Towns yeah. and Edwards are uh, where the guys, uh, Anthony Edwards are uh, where the guys uh, that led uh, the way for the Timberwolves. The Miami Heat, like we said, mm -hmm. they defeated the Boston Celtics. And a very exciting encounter, 129 yeah. to 121. We'll be coming back to tell you about the exploits of Bam Adebayo, Jimmy Butler, and the likes later on on the show. The Clippers were also in action against the Raptors. They won 115 to 96. Kawhi Leonard, 20 points. Paul George, 16 points on the night. This was a wire-to-wire -wire yeah. victory uh, for LA. Uh, never trailed. Four quarters. They needed that. Indeed. Let's go on to the um, Pacers and the Sound Sixers. Mm, One three. Surprising result. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. a bit surprising. One or three to ninety-four in favor of Indiana. Um, the Pacers having to rally late in yeah. that game to snap the Sound Sixers streak. And uh, Demantas had a very busy night, 16 points, 13 rebounds, mm. and 15 assists. Mm. Joel Embiid wasn't playing. He missed with illness. Tobias Harris scoring 27 points in his absence. But then it just wasn't enough for them. If they had won this, they would have sealed the top seed in the East. But losing it with that top seed... Yes, you got a chance. A, a chance yeah. to do that, right? Yes, you got a chance to do that. Okay. All right, Nets, we'll see. Of course, mm -hmm. the Nets are their main rivals mm -hmm. uh, for back that to top back seed yeah. uh, in... Uh, in the Eastern Conference, they were in action against the Chicago, Chicago Bulls. Bulls. Uh, they won 115 to 107. Kevin Durant, 21 points and 8 assists on the night. And they were able to get that victory despite Zach Levine scoring 41 points mm -hmm. for the Bulls. And Kerry Irving had to leave the game with a facial contusion, undergoing testing. And possibly we hope he will be faithful another 
for another game next time. All right, the Mavericks were also in action against the Grizzlies, 133 to 104 uh, over Dallas. Ja Moran, 24 points, 8 assists and 7 rebounds. Let's go on quickly to uh, the Magic and the Box, 114 to 102 in favor of the Box. Yanis scoring 27 mm -hmm. points in that victory as they kept up their chase of the number two seed in the Eastern Conference. The, Mayan, the Golden Suns. State Warriors are for the second night in a row mm -hmm. are rallied uh, to <laughs> beat the Phoenix Suns 122 to 116. There were also wins for the Kings and the Lakers. The Lakers was against the New York Knicks. The that one, game went one, into one, overtime. Two, okay. Night to night. All right, started with the Heat uh, securing the playoff spots. Yes, sir. We picked two games for today. Yeah. The Heat because they secured the playoff spots. Boston Celtics were so poor this season, they can't even make the playoffs. Yeah, and they well, needed they... this way to stay in. But right now, not anymore. They're going to be playing in the play-in next week. Yeah, yeah that's what it's looking <laughs> like uh, for Boston. A very disappointing season. Yeah. Indeed, uh, but let's focus on, 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 on uh, the recovery, the remarkable recovery of Miami. A lot of issues at the start of the season. Injuries health issues also. majorly. A lot mm -hmm. of injuries and uh, health and safety protocols yeah. as well, too. Uh, at the time, they were parading a uh, seven-man roster, mm -hmm. you know. Um, at the time, we got to see Gabe Vincent starting a lot of games yeah. uh, because the starters yeah. weren't available. We're never, yeah. We got to see pressure starting also games starting, yeah. because the starters weren't available. Mm -hmm. They lost a lot of those games out, but then uh, as soon as they got uh, their main players back, uh, and they bounced back. Yeah, their, their season kicked on, and, and, and they've been able to go on this remarkable uh, run. They've won their last... 10, 10 of 13 mm -hmm. games. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, that's a great form indeed. And, and that's why uh, they're in the playoffs uh, yet again. And they will uh, be, uh, you know, contesting the postseason. Tyler Hero, 24 points on the night. Duncan Robinson, 22 points. Bama Debaya, 22 yeah. points as well. So, we like. uh, I'll leave that and come home quickly. Attire, talking mm -hmm. about Chioma Jones. Uh, celebration of uh, 25 years after winning a gold medal at Atlanta 96. And the talent hunt started uh, started uh, in Lagos. And of course, uh, started with track and field and at the Yaba Tech, where you have some uh, athletes, you know, across the secondary schools in Lagos, you know, were able to take part uh, in the talent hunt and the best obviously be selected, mm -hmm. you know, for, for onward, you know, grooming mm -hmm. to whatever, well, whatever a field they want specialized on. You have the 100 meters, 200 meters, you have the long jump, the, both tra all track and field events that took place in Yabatek. Lagos is the first phase. They're going to move to Abia and some other states across Nigeria. About 13 states they've selected already across board. And some of the stars who took part in it were really excited about, you know, how this all went and hopefully they can, you know, continue like this and, you know, get to represent Nigeria someday. All right, let's listen to those athletes who took part once. Alimo, I mean, is a player, is an athlete that most people will be used to because she was at the uh, channels uh, track and field event, uh, the under-17 uh, championship that we usually host every year. It didn't happen last year because of, you know, COVID-19. Running Nigeria has really been part of my life in turn I was small. Like I really love it and I really want to be the fastest human on earth and I want to break more records. Like I'm happy seeing myself competing with people and winning. Like I'm very happy and I hope for a greater Nigeria so that we move forward. I've been suspect, training yes. really hard and I've already put my mind in it that I want to beat world record. And I train with my coach and I like running 400 meters. Really, my dad wants me to run to um, short distance, like 200, 100, but I put my mind in 400 meters. I was 25 when I won the Olympic gold, and I have 25 years to go with this talent. And I know that it's going to be a very good uh, event in their lives. You know, when you pick somebody from small and you manage the person up to 25 years, I believe after 25 years, they're going to be a big, big, big people in life that other people will see it and they said, oh, we don't know that we have somebody that can think in this direction. You know, we have some international bodies, those that have been doing it big time, big time organizations that want to help us to change the narratives in Nigeria. So uh, I am not coming out to come out to talk 
without doing is going to be a talk and a do by the special grace of God. So this athlete will be um, the set pace uh, setters. Welcome back. Uh, you guys can talk to us on our Twitter handle. Yes, United should have delayed Manchester City celebration, but they could not do that until the fans are celebrating another league title. Expectedly, uh, but United fans, why, when they started dreaming, and that's when United lost to Leicester City. Yes, 10 changes made. But Leicester deserved to be in the top four because of the way they played yesterday. So tell us about United. What can they do to strengthen the squad? Oli has been saying that the only way they can compete with the likes of Liverpool and Man City is to get more players. So who are these players they should get to spend money and bring in players into the league? Tell us about that. Arsenal, Chelsea will be in action today. Arsenal, of course, they're chasing a sport in the Europa League. Yes, that's what they're chasing, not the Champions League. Mm -hmm. Why Chelsea are chasing a top four in the league. Just two sports left, City and Man. The two Manchester clubs already clinched uh, that. And, of course, Leicester. So we have one left now. Uh, Chelsea will be chasing that. Why Arsenal are chasing Europa. Who could have thought about that? So we'll talk also about that. And uh, the talks they continue concerning... Super Falcons playing the Black Queens of Ghana, you know, at the very, very early stage, first round. What's CAF doing? Are they really serious about developing women's football? Tell us about that also. We have Rotimi Akindele in the studio this morning of uh, 4 in 1. Good morning. It's good to have you. <laughs> good morning, Sissy. Good morning, Taya. Mm. Been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Mm -hmm. mm, been a minute. It's good to have you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, congrats to me. Shout out to Miami Heat. Uh, okay. We got the playoffs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, shout out. Shout out. Shout out. Because good. because that's an extension of Nigerian players. I, mean, I, I oh, wanted well. to say D Tigers, but I just say Nigerian nah, players. Nah, just Nigerian because players. you have Nigeria. There's so many. Like, I have like five. Why? What? Why are you congratulating them? Like, yeah, because I've been a fresh fan. Precious. I mean, okay. Yeah. Always. He's, a, always. Oh, yeah. He's a hit yeah. fan. And you have precious. Okay, you don't know. Okay, so it's good. It's good right. I'm doing it today. Okay. At least I don't want I don't want Lakers JSW in the playing. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good for the game. But it's all good. Let's, let's go. Yes, CC, I don't want it. All okay. Right. <laughs> all right, let's go back to NWFL Premiership play, relegation playoff tournament. I was going to say playing. <laughs> oh, you see? Lakers playing. <laughs> okay. This resulted from what happened on a Tuesday evening. A dream star, they couldn't escape relegation this time around. They tried as much as possible, coming from two goals down to win 3-2. But it wasn't to be for them uh, against uh, Abia Angels. They were, Abia Angels were leading 2-0. And all of a sudden, they came back and they scored three. But it just wasn't. If they had scored one more, they would have based on goal difference, but it just didn't happen. Abia Angels finished on four. Uh, Dream Stars finished on oh, four. But goal difference, Abia Angels escape and they stay up. While E-Bomb Angels, of course, they couldn't. Pelicans already have uh, three points. They just needed one more. And they ended with five points. And this is what it's like so at the end close, of the day. So, so close, close, yes. Close, but no cigar for, mm -hmm. uh, for uh, Dream Star ladies um, from that uh, final standings. Uh, uh, for Fed Pelican, though, and Abia Angels, um, one more season in the top flight. Yeah, um, I mean, Pelican Stars, old name. Uh, I mean, if you talk about women's football in Nigeria, traditional, traditional team. Yeah. Uh, good to have them, you know, secure their sport or maintain their sport. Mm -hmm. um, Abia Angels as well, <clears throat> excuse me, with Anne um, in the mix as well. I think that's pretty good. For, for Dream Stars, I'm pretty close to the team, and uh, it's pretty sad it's that uh, it had to end this way. But, you know, they can always um, trust the process, mm. look ahead, um, play in the second tier, hopefully uh, focus on coming back into the top flight. I, I, um, I'm hoping that we'll have a more robust and friendly structure from next season rather than what we had um, this time. It's not like it's all bad, but yeah. at least because of some conditions or because of some factors mm. uh, to break all of this play of super six. Mm, I think CAF is still yeah. the reason for that. Yeah, so I'm saying I hope we have a more robust mm -hmm. and effective plan next season. Uh, hopefully the likes of Dream Stars and uh, the other team that got relegated. Ebon. Ebon, Ebon yeah. It's pretty shocking. Two seasons ago they were one of uh, two, three yeah. seasons ago they were one of the biggest teams. But they were also one of those teams, the later registration, I think they were not just yeah, really I, ready I, for I, the season. They were not ready for mm -hmm. this particular season. They were so not. Hopefully they can bounce back um, next season from the second tier and they will have um, all of them back in the top flight. Yeah, okay. We'll leave it at that. All the best, best wishes to Pelicans.
who was staying top and also Abia Angels and Chejina. Yeah, she was excited. We saw the pic videos and pictures of all of them, not yeah. just really happy with that. We'll leave that and quickly touch down on the tired of fallout from the draw between Ghana and Nigeria. So, First round. I mean, I just every time I just keep thinking about it. Uh, what was Cap thinking? Uh, yes, yes, waffle. Regional uh, closure, so not, and you're yeah. asking yourself on the 70, on the 20, it's not really like that. You still do the same way, but the biggest, your biggest brand, are you trying to water it down? I mean, if you want to see Ghana and Nigeria, you want to see them in the tournament. Now you're going to be having of those three, Cut the Voir, Nigeria, Ghana, only one will make it to the final, to the finals. So in as much as, is, in it as, much as uh, calf yeah. meant well, yeah. in court, in court. Now, yeah, because I love that. of... Um, the pandemic situation, oh, no. logistics. Um, okay, you so you don't have to travel far. Let's do regional. And have all you of checked that. the under seventeen draws? No, wait. In as much as they meant well. Okay. And then you also want to afford the um, smaller teams the opportunity of playing in big, tournament. um, big tournaments. Mm -hmm. In as much as they wanted that, I don't think they should have brought it to the elite. Uh, level of women's football in Africa. I, I don't, I mean, it's just like you asking the Super Eagles, um, the main team of Africa, Egypt should go play Algeria, and then Nigeria should play somewhere like Senegal or Ghana from Wafu, and then you don't, in qualifying for a major tournament, <clears throat> as you said, probably waters it down. And um, I feel it's a goof <laughs> that CAF has to accept, mm -hmm. but because they can't probably alter it now. No, of course. Yeah. Of course not. Uh, and don't forget, we're not the only ones complaining in the Wafa region. There's Malawi and Zambia mm -hmm. who are complaining in yeah. Kusafa. Like, you don't do this. Mm -hmm. You know, these are the teams we always want to see in tournament. But since it's happened, we just have to execute, we just have to play it and go on. But I hope it is just a one off. Yeah, that's what, from that, CAF. That, yes. This cannot keep Continue. happening. Continue. You can do it at the. Um, on, on the, the 17, level. on the 20 level. And Nigeria has fallen victim, especially from the golden eaglets, mm -hmm. the flying eagles. So, yeah. yes, you can do it and get away with it, but take, not at this damage. level of, uh, what's it called, the top um, yeah. echelon of female football in Africa. Because, women's it, football in Nigeria, because in Africa. you actually want your best country to be at the World Cup. Mm. Now, if you're going to be having Niger Republic at the World Cup. Niger, Niger Republic. I mean, that, that's if what it's they, looking like. If they, they, they if they, they cut the four, I'm, I'm like, games, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, yeah, them. full credit to them. Yeah. No, but, but, but then again, if, you might not have Niger Republic. I'm, mm, I'm just saying, because you I'm have... Uh, cut the four, um, it, From the Wafu region, mm -hmm. you should have some decent teams. So outside, in the, outside Nigeria, Ghana, and Cote d'Ivoire, which other teams do you have? In West in Africa. Wafu B, Wafu B, the yeah, group at that Nigeria At least two should qualify. Yeah. I'm hoping two qualifies. One, so one, one of Ghana, group. Nigeria's, or could the vice fine? No, one, from, from the, that Wafu B is only one. Then you have the yeah, Wafu then you have, A, yeah, I know. one also from Wafu A. Yeah, where you have uh, the likes of Mali. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you still so, have... So my point is, if, because Sela is talking about Niger, I'm saying if Niger is <laughs> well enough to beat... Uh, Cut the voir and then go on and beat Nigeria like, and for the waterfall. For the, the nations, cup. So nations. who cares? They've done and the if they get to the outcome, who cares? They, 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 so okay. what? They beat Nigeria <laughs> and, uh, and cut the voir to qualify. Well played to yeah, them. Let, let's just talk yeah, about the one-off. Yeah, 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 one mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so they need to strategize and think about how they really want to, you know, make the game better. Make it big. I mean, it's your biggest brand. So you really need to make it big. To be fair on Calf, they're trying to make the game better. You have what the... CAF Women's Champions League. Who wants to watch Kenya and Malawi, for instance, at the Nations Cup? You. Okay. Uh, let's listen to Aisha <laughs> Falode, you know, talking about the draw between Nigeria and Ghana and hoping that, of course, Nigeria will prepare well to be able to beat Ghana in the, the first round. Well, this is um, the first time where CAF will be making a draw that uh, will make the big teams uh, be facing each other this early in a, in a qualifier. Uh, it, it just means that we now have to work hard. Uh, thank God and, uh, that the Super Falcons have been busy lately. Uh, the league has been busy. Uh, this is the quality we were talking about. We said, look, uh, football is dynamic. We must be ready for the dynamism in football now. Uh, we see smaller nations who are beginning to work really hard to close the gap. And we have to do what we need to do to extend that gap again. 
and I'm, I'm, we, I'm very confident that we're on the right path. Uh, the coach has hit the ground running. He went with, uh, to one in Betishona, he won that. We have another top one that is coming in, in June. Uh, that is a plus for the Nigeria uh, Football Federation and indeed the president who has been making sure that uh, women's football is beginning to get the deserved attention uh, that it needs now to excel. And I'm sure that uh, it will be very interesting, uh, the AFCON qualifier for women this time around. Nigeria, Ghana, it's always a good match any day. It's a good match any day, but then we will not get to see it at Alcon. That's, that's where. Anything can happen. What yeah, anything teams, can what happen. What teams will draw? Oh, well, come on, it's the first round. I mean, you knock yourself out. One will go. It's, what it's, if, it's, I'm what? not hoping it happens. <laughs> But we've seen teams withdraw at the last... Oh, we are not playing again. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. That's a long shot. <laughs> okay, that's a long, yeah, shot. that's a long yeah, shot. Yeah, I, I remember Nigeria Cameroon the final. You saw the crowd. That's what you want to see. I mean, okay. L let's leave it. Let's, let's leave it and go to the English oh, Premier wow. League. Um, <laughs> with Leicester City and Manchester United ended 2-1 in favour of Leicester. Mason Gray will try to bring them back into the game after they considered a very early goal. But then that was all he could do because uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer said he was going to make 10 changes and he did that. Kalichi and Acha, yes, and Didi, all of them that had to fight for because they know what they were looking for. They wanted to stay up. Let's they didn't start. want to, after losing to Newcastle, yeah. not another, another loss again at Old Trafford, they were able to beat United. And of course, that loss handed the title to Man City. So mm. City fans can now celebrate after waiting for two weeks. Mm. They couldn't celebrate. I think it was a weird move by Solskjaer. Uh, really? Very weird. Okay. Um, you had Liverpool what? is Thursday. Yeah, so, but, so what do you want to do with the Liverpool game? Mm, yeah, because it's rivalry. I mean, the tradition, the rivalry, you have bragging to be Liverpool. Rights. Yes. I don't, just bragging rights. Yeah. I don't think she, she Maybe could Maybe you wanted a draw here. Until 10 changes. Mm, too much. Of, it, yeah, it was too much going into the game. Into a game where, uh, yes, nobody's asking you to... I mean, you can't... City only needed a win anyway. Yeah. So it's not like City wouldn't win in their next three games. It's, it not, it's yeah. not possible. But at least make it... Yeah, let, let them sweat a bit. Exactly. Let the so, ice melt a bit. I, I just felt, back. I saw the, I saw the, I mean, pre-game, 10 changes, and I'm like, no. Yeah. You don't want to United, watch. we're probably going to lose, lose this, game. this game. And then you look at the personnel, like, okay, Leicester, look at the Leicester side. Oh, this is an advantage for you guys. You've not won at Old Trafford in a while. Mm -hmm. You want to seal that Champions League spot. This is a big chance. And they took advantage. So, um, three points, three big points for Leicester. Yep. What that means is that Chelsea and West Ham, uh, Chelsea has to look behind them uh, and see uh, and, and hope that West Ham, you know, doesn't get a good run going to the final two or final three games. Mm. And all the talks about Leicester getting the Champions League, I think, might be more difficult now uh, because of that Leicester win yesterday. So, United overall, yes, a relatively good season. Uh, mm. They're still in the Europa League final. Uh, they'll probably still finish in second, you know, behind uh, City. Yeah. If you look at it all together, pretty decent. But as regards yesterday's game, I think that um, shot at 10 changes was pretty weird. Too much. Anyways, uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been reacting uh, to that uh, game, of course. So congratulating uh, City on their title, as well as um, talking a bit about uh, what they need to do to challenge uh, the citizens uh, next season. First of all, congratulations to Man City for winning the league. Uh, very worthy champions. Got to hold our hands up and say that. But that's where we want to be, and we're not there yet. Um, and they've they've put the bar where it is, and um, that's up to us now to uh, to take the next step. Of course, it's uh, not the position we want to be in, but uh, the realistic, the realistic, and the the sensible answer is that um, we've pushed them. We've pushed them until the last 10, 12 days of the season. They have been lauded, and rightly so, as one of the best teams that have. Uh, been in the Premier League, they've uh, put the bar where it's, where or they've shown that where the bar is. Want to congratulate Pep and, and the team, of course. It's but that's that's where we're at, and we've got to be big enough to hold our hands up. I, I, I don't uh, mind doing that, but uh, uh, we know that we want want to get there, and uh, that's the next step we have to make. And uh, hopefully, we can come together. As a as a team and a club, and we we push next season. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer reacting to United's loss against Leicester City. 
uh, last night. And by losing that game, they cannot match or even surpass uh, the eight one points they got under Jose Mourinho in the 2017-2018 season. That's the most that they've gotten uh, post uh, Fergie. Fergie's yeah, time, so. yeah. Uh, but for United fans, I tell you, it's progress. So everything is going on well, and um, they're in the not family. all not all United fans, most, because I mean, I'm, I'm getting I some <coughs> tweets already that okay. they're saying that it's brainless and needs to be fired because they oh. might even end up finishing third. Yeah, yeah, first, yeah. Might, because Liverpool obviously wouldn't want to, leave to lose to United no matter okay. what happens they've had time to really relax and rest yeah. and they've arrested their slum the two draws they had back to back then the win and of course they're playing United on Thursday so they had a longer time to rest so there's they, some United fans that mm -hmm. don't see all yeah they don't see answer, yeah like, maybe I rest. should just take this tweet so that uh, he would answer uh, Jonathan says uh Ole needs to be sacked because he lacks tactical brain. Mark my word, United will finish third and also lose the Europa League. That's interesting. Yep, I mean, so Anyways. what do you think? Uh, well, it's not, um, it's not out of place that that can happen, really. Uh, that finishing third? Finishing third, is, it's, it's yeah. possible mm -hmm. uh, based on this. Because I don't think, uh, if you're going to the Liverpool game tomorrow like this, you probably will end up losing as well. Mm -hmm. So that means you've lost six points yeah. from a possible nine. So that means you only had you only gained three points from nine, and that's that six points is pretty huge. Yeah. So it's possible United go into that game and come out losing, and then that depending on what happens between Leicester, Leicester. and Chelsea as well, yeah. you know that you might actually finish yeah. uh, third. And then for the Europa League, it's fifty-fifty as far as I'm concerned. Mm. Anyone, yes, you are playing an experienced manager who's won that tournament. Or that title three times in the <laughs> Who row. owns the tournament? You can say that again in Unai Emery. Uh, so, who knows? Luck could play Guys. out, tactics could work. Guys. But Sokja has not always been the best tactician, anyway. Mm. Especially in crunch time. Yeah. Guys, uh, let's forget about uh, United for now. Let's talk about the champions. Why? We need to spare our uh, thoughts uh, for City. Yeah. Champions again, of course. The fans couldn't wait to <laughs> celebrate uh, in front of the Etihad Stadium. And look at them, of course. Jubilant teams are coming uh, from the skies. Uh, champions for the third time in four seasons that's remarkable uh, our consistency right there and um our credit of course to uh, pep guardiola and the boys and uh, what more can we say about city today it's safe to call them uh, a premier league uh, great now because when they first won the first title uh pundits were like oh can they do it a second time can they do it a third time now they've gone and done it like five and times now one of premier league greats and uh, not just premier league greats i mean like they are premier league greats like united okay and uh -huh. situate it yes and, and <laughs> because like if you don't that. situate it as if who they are and the not. others are not Ooh, okay that's what okay I was to say. <laughs> uh who is an Arsenal fan? None of us. Okay, fine. Uh, let's uh, talk just, about City. Just say, yeah, we're talking about City. Uh, brilliant stuff, brilliant stuff from City. I mean, they were deliberate. Uh, we saw that since, especially since that takeover. Yeah. They were deliberate. They knew what they wanted to achieve. You know, in terms of the kind of managers they got, kind of time, kind of uh, players they got, the way they go into tournaments, especially the Champions League, which they have a big chance of winning this time around. Uh, the Premier League, you know, that looked elusive for years, has now become a norm yeah. for City. You probably go into every season now putting City first mm. as your favourite, you know, to go on and win. So I think it's a deliberate plan that is materialising all, that is uh, showing now because of the works they put into it. Mm. And the money, big, the especially. monies and all. Big credit to Pep Guardiola. Mm. I think it's been fantastic. Uh, especially the way, with the way he's handled the team as well. They had that bleep last season. Liverpool ran, ran riot, went on to win. This time around, even though they had a shaky start to the season, yeah. mm -hmm. they were able to manage and then go on to win the title. So overall, from the players to the coaches to the backroom staff, I think it's brilliant Yeah, uh, for, for, for Pep Guardiola. So I'm, I'm pretty, pretty excited. Mm. I hope uh, their neighbours don't have to wait so long mm. You know, to actually catch up with them or be at the same level or be on the same level with them because from what it's looking like now, Tyre. It's uh, safe to say they are not they are nowhere near each other. They've now. got their work cut out. That's what I was gonna say. That's yeah. United and yeah. pretty much uh, every other team as no, well. No, especially for uh, United. United, United yeah. were okay. the were the biggest team in Manchester. Mm -hmm. Now and now it's gone to the blue half. Mm. And it looks like but on United paper. But United are still the biggest team in Manchester. No, I don't think in so. Terms of, in terms of titles, in no, terms no, no, of no. history. As it stands, Sissy. Okay, right now. As it stands. In the, last, in the, in the last five, five years. Mm. Or let's just say post-Feggy. Mm. 
Okay. You, yeah, you, can, you can't yeah. put mm. Man United yeah. and City on the same part. No, yeah, Postpeggy, yes, give it to City. And but you don't want that City to continue for, a, for a long while. If nah. they win the Champions League, yes, we can group them among those It doesn't great change anything. In England, we need to go on a break. <laughs> and during the break, you get to see Manchester City fans, you know, reacting and really happy about the success they've recorded so far. The celebrations of blue side of Manchester. Let's leave those celebrations. I know it's obviously going to continue, you of know, course. with the players and coaches, yeah. the open bus parade. The if they're going to the have week. it for the rest of the week. Yeah, yeah. pandemic permitting. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, quickly touch down on Chelsea, Arsenal. They're in action today, both mm -hmm. fighting for different things Europa and Champions League. Champions League yeah. Yeah. Arsenal. <laughs> Usually at this time, during uh, Asavenga's time, this is the trophy they always want. I'm talking about the top four. Like, you know, but, Sisi, but they'll come now. for you. Hmm? They'll come for you. I'm, but that's a say, fact, right? I, I don't know if it's a fact, but how, how, how do you I just see, know they'll come for how you. How do you see this game panning out uh, tonight uh, at Stamford Bridge, uh, you know, considering uh, the two different objectives of both sides? Oh, well, um, looks pretty... Um, I, I wouldn't say it's delicately poised because <laughs> Chelsea are probably not so bothered, yeah. not so worried. Really? Uh, yeah, if you look at their closest ch uh, chasers, that's six points. West Ham. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's not yet. Uh, They've got two games left. They're not home and dry, so Doesn't they don't want to lose this game nah. and give West Ham hope. You can catching. see, you can, even, you can even drop points and give West Ham hope. No problem. I think this Chelsea side have a lot of solid stuff going for them, especially with the way they've played in the last few few weeks mm -hmm. so uh, or, let me say since took, took over yeah mm -hmm. you know so it's um it's uh it's that sort of side that probably has their eyes on the bigger prize they've got a final mm -hmm. the, the fa cup final they've got uh, the, the champions, champions league, league final. final so there are bigger things to to, to have so, they will seal that europe uh, that champions league spot okay. so i don't think this regardless game regardless of this regardless game. of this game yeah, but okay. but because of the way arsenal has played and because of how solid it, uh, the manager is for Chelsea, exactly. I don't see Chelsea losing this one. Okay. Okay. I think the, the best thing you can hand is in a draw, oh, yes. or Chelsea goes on to win. But Arsenal oh. needs to win this game. Arsenal needs to win to oh, yes. probably just see if they can Arsenal get into the Europa League. There's mm -hmm. also the UEFA um, conference. conference League or something. And, uh, I think they might have to settle for that. For that. Know, okay. Depending on the outcome <laughs> of some other results. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's... So a quick one on Barcelona before we look at um, something else before uh, we close okay. the show. It's, a, it's, a, it's, it's La Liga title that um, it's a La Liga title that no, no one, one wants to win. win. Okay. That's what it's looking like. So Barca had a good chance. Went two goals up and somehow Levante came back into the game and still scored later on to draw three all. And I'm sure Coleman probably be asking himself, maybe I should just leave at the end of the season. There's something not working here. Yeah, I think that's the story so of Barcelona. Hopefully okay. Atletico Madrid will take advantage tonight. Mm. Our Real Madrid takes advantage tomorrow when they mm. play Granada. So, but we'll wait. I think it's going to be one of the Madrid teams Same that will eventual. end up winning. Yeah. Because Barcelona, because Barcelona has, has shown that generated. it's like we're not interested. How many in opportunities are they going to get? Okay, Let's quickly, go before we go to the tweets, uh, we'll just papers. take this one. Uh, tweets and papers, we'll quickly take this one where the Minister of Youth and Sports, Sonny Dari, was honoured by Association of National Olympics Committee of Africa with the highest honor highest order of sports administrator award yesterday in abuja so it was given the highest honor and of course everyone was really happy about that because they made a cut service mm -hmm. to him uh in abuja on tuesday and he was really happy with the kind they are happy with the kind of role he's playing especially uh, concerning sports in nigeria mm -hmm. uh that's i mean that, that's a statement you know coming from uh the president of um, <laughs> the president of national olympics committee of africa talking about Mustafa Beraf, he says, really happy with the role he's playing, ensuring that what well, they were able to complete, you know, the headquarters in Abuja and also with the way he has developed sports in Nigeria. Developed sports. So. I'm just saying, like, okay. Yeah, okay. What, what do you think of this honor, mean? this great honor to the sports minister Sunday? Yeah, well, it's from an organization. Yeah. yeah. And so they have, of course, uh, yes. National the Olympics I Committee of Africa, Association of National Olympics Committee good. of Africa. Good. I mean, good for them, good yeah. for the organization. I like the fact that Sunday Diary was recognized. But we need to see more on the home front. Mm. Okay, more on the home front. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I like that. So we'll end it there. I'll quickly uh, take some tweet before we look at the papers. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, Noble Flyerman, let me quickly start with you. He says, uh, if I were Oli, I would sacrifice the game yesterday for the UEFA uh, Europa League final it's not happening in mind, now. as there's no point chasing uh, shadows, uh, chasing City. City has chasing shadows. City has won the league already, and even before the game, they play full strength and lose players to injury. We will beat Villarreal. That's what it, when it's 26th, right? So you still have a very long time. Obuni, okay. Taiwo's uh, message, uh, congrats to Manchester City uh, for winning the EPL. But next season, they should be re uh, ready for Chelsea. It looks like <laughs> the all directions pointing to Chelsea. Yeah, because you have being the of course, of right? course, you have a big manager mm. in Thomas Tuchel. He's done it in Germany, did okay. it in France, and we've seen... How well to tweak it uh, is... Uh, and he has started beating Pep Guardiola. You know, in Chelsea. Okay. And gotten them to two, fi two major finals. Uh -huh. And now... He's very got close to the better of Pep as well. Exactly. Okay. So. Pat says, uh, calling for Ole Sack is ridiculous. Yes, Ole should have used all his top players to get a win against he Leicester. Doesn't have knowing that Liverpool players. will come with all power. But it's been a good season for Ole. And I think it's time for him to consolidate. consolidate. Yeah, which well, is what, important. What consolidate? So would winning a title... BGK says awesome. thumbs up to Chairman Joan for her effort in developing young talent, more of her kind. Congratulations to City. I hope this, uh, this last cup win this season, though. Uh, okay, your first Champions League is theirs. All right. We'll see about that. Papers are tired quickly. Yeah, yeah. Let's look at I mean, so many. Uh, complete sport here. Where you have complete sport, Inter Milan, Ayers want Onoachu this summer. Mm. Where should he go to Ayers or Inter Milan? But no, he can't go to Inter. Okay. Uh, Lukaku, because of Lukaku. Lukaku is living. Oh, okay. Okay. So he can go to Ayers. Yeah. And go to Ayers if, if but, the money is good. But what about us? And they will play on the continent. Though. Okay. So yeah, play on the continent. Should be, should be good. Okay, yeah. Onyekuru Nia's second Turkish league title. Bags of sisters, yeah, Galak go top. Okay, so, yeah. So, so dramatic. Dramatic, all the uh, drama. But she still has had a chance yesterday <laughs> and they lost it to. What's the name of the club they lost it to? Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. It's a small yeah. Club. Okay, okay. spotting some the next one here. You have Barcelona opt out of Indidi's race. It says midfield are too expensive for 75 million euros. Mm. Okay. Um, interesting. <laughs> okay, Chico is in the receipt medal and crushes. Yeah, the okay, there's so many. Barca have spent on um, players and recent transfer windows, so um, we really don't have time for that. So. Maybe they're okay. trying to be careful now. Uh, learning from their past. Maybe, just uh, maybe. Anyway, so sports and life. Uh, Ansel Flick uh, agrees a three year deal with Germany. Of course, uh, that's been no surprises. Often, uh, for a while now. Real Madrid to offload uh, Ramos of Varane this summer. End of season, the worst season of my career, Sadio Mane. What is going on with Sadio Mane this season? Mm -hmm. uh, it wasn't scoring goals. I uh, don't know. Old Trafford result gives uh, Man City EPL title. All right, Raw, we have to go. Wrongly. Okay. Um, who's, that? who's this? Yana Cho. Oh, okay. So that looks like interesting. a very interesting read. Uh, I'll definitely... Maybe because of the last Nations Cup or something? No, not just, recently? I think it's we fair to, to just read up. Let's okay, read, yeah, <laughs> don't I'll speculate, read. right? Yeah, exactly. Rotimi, thank you so much for coming on the program. Many thanks. Thank <laughs> you. Appreciate your time, Rotimi. Thank you. thank you for watching at home as well. Um, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs> I am Taya Salam. I'm Cecilia Mogbe. Thanks for watching. <laughs>